Derek's 52 yard touchdown run, Jeff had a great block to open up a huge hole for him. And that's not rare to see from your unit. How much pride do you guys take in Derek's 2000 yard season? You know, I, I think at the end of that play, you can watch uh, he and Michael Pruitt both, uh, you know, running after the play and celebrating and finishing. Uh, they take a lot of pride and, and have a lot of joy in our team success. That's what I think is so unique about, uh, you know, the guys we have on offense. They're, they're just excited to watch each other succeed. They, they don't care who it is uh, that's producing. We just we just want to put up points and score and do what we can to help the team win. David Beauclair. Uh, Anthony Ferkser is one of the guys who has helped offset the absence of Adam Humphreys in the slot. Has that been, is that a fairly natural move for him to that position or is, is he had to learn a whole bunch of different stuff along the way here the last several weeks? He certainly has a good understanding of, of the game and of coverages and, and, you know, where he needs to fit in, in certain uh, concepts and, uh, I think Ferk's done a nice job. You know, everybody's always looking to improve. And, and I think he has that growth mindset and brings it each week in practice. And uh, it's been fun to see him get some production out of that. Is he maybe a little faster than, than we might think that he's able to, to, to get open from, from that area too? I, I won't give him that. I won't say he's too fast. I'll just say that he, he does a nice job of executing the things we ask him to do. And one more sort of off the beaten path thing. You spent a little time in Buffalo. What uh, what do you think this this season has meant to the football community up there and what they've accomplished to this point? Oh, man, they're a passionate fan base. And I, I know they're excited to be hosting a playoff game. And congratulations to that city and, and those fans uh, and a lot of great people in that organization as well. What's up, Coach Todd? Uh, How are you doing, John? All right. Uh, my question is in regards to uh, Arthur Smith and, and the synergy, you know, especially with you knowing your extensive history as far as being involved with so many offenses. How, how does that work? Like, Is he someone that will come to you and, and allow you to have input and, and help put the game plan together? You know, Arthur uh, does a great job of leading our offensive staff and, and uh, you know, that's uh, in lockstep with our head coach and how he wants uh, input from everyone. Uh, but ultimately, you know, it's, it's his job to um, put together the, the game plan and, and the personality uh, for the week. And Arthur's extremely gifted. Um, you know, he, he's a, a great game planner. He's a great play caller. He's a, a great leader and, uh, you know, very, very fortunate to spend some time around him. And then also in regards to, to Jeff Swain, it's, it's interesting because he's just kind of continued to increase as far as his involvement. But what has been the key just with you working with him and, and, and getting him to that point to where he's a key piece of his offense? Uh, Jeff's a, a great competitor and, uh, you know, very diligent in his preparation. Uh, he's a guy that, you know, brings a grit and toughness and, you know, some of those traits that are so important to our team. And it's been fun to watch him grow. I know he's hungry. I know he's uh, eager to show people uh, his skill set, uh, you know, at, at the tight end position. And I've been happy to see him uh, translate that into some some in-game production. Uh, 